Hello, my name is Doug, and this is well a bear proofing system for your garbage. So the purpose of this video is is if you have problems with bears attacking your garbage and dragging your garbage off into the woods, uh, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you a system to uh, help stop that. So um, us personally, bear, we've been living in this house for about three years, and we've had numerous, numerous attacks on our garbage. So basically, the bears just knock this thing over drag the garbage into the woods down there and spread it all over like an acre of woods and it takes hours to clean up every time. So for three years I've been stewing, just thinking about a system to stop them. Uh, so um, first I, you know, I'll, I'll go over a few details but first I'll just demonstrate the usage of the system. So if you bring in the camera a little bit. Uh, you can see this like rip cord right here. So all you do is just yank it. The whole thing collapses, comes apart, and oh, wait. I forgot my prop. All right, my prop was in the garbage jar. All right, then you go out of the garbage, and you grab the tennis ball down here. Shrink. You pull it tight. Oh, sorry. And uh, yeah, this part. And you put the pin back through, put through the carabiner, and uh, yeah, now it's all locked up again. Yeah, right, they got it. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll post some pictures and stuff in the video description also. It's, uh, it looks a little complicated, but the overall concept is pretty simple. Uh, so now I'm just looking at some notes down here. Um, uh, so. A bear has tried to attack this twice now, two and a half times, I would say, and they are not successful. So past systems I've had using like bungee cords, I tried like a latch system one time that was kind of iffy. Um, yeah, you know, a bear can pull it, like this is like, even this is a little dangerous. A bear can, you would be amazed at how, like this, the crack that a bear can pull the garbage out of. So my past systems have failed. This one has survived two and a half bear attacks so far. Uh, so. I've had some constraints, self-imposed constraints for this system. Uh, I didn't want to modify the actual garbage at all. Uh, this is not, as far as I know, this is not like, we don't own this at all. This is, belongs to Payne's uh, Rice Recycling and Rubbish. So I didn't want to like drill any holes or modify the garbage in any way. That was one constraint. Uh, no latches. And I want to just be like a, a cool, easy to use system. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. details on the actual system. We have a chain 520 pound test from the local hardware store. And I should add, everything here is just go down to your local small town hardware store, you have everything you need. So the chain 520 pound test, more than enough I would think. Uh, 299 per foot uh, where we live, so you know, do the math. Uh, it's about eight feet of chain. Uh, you have a, if you come in again, Aga, uh, you have a, I'll just rip this out. Boom. You have a carabiner right here. Uh, just you know, another few bucks. You have the Clovis pin apparatus, which I tied with uh, some paracord just as a convenience. I don't even have to do that, but it's nice. You don't have to. It's all just one piece. Uh, yeah, no, another few dollars here. And then, of course, the tennis ball, which is just uh, with an eye screw and then another fastener kept onto the chain. Uh, the tennis ball is nice. It, the, the, the only purpose of the tennis ball is as a stopper for the, so the carabiner doesn't slip off the end of the rope. Um, it, uh, the tennis ball also being nice neon green when you come out and throw the garbage away at night, it gives you, uh, you know exactly what to grab to tighten the system back up again. Uh, yeah, so I would estimate, I mean, I haven't done the math exactly, but it's like 40, maybe $50 at most for all of this, which is a pretty good deal. Uh, I've heard Payne's actually offers their own garbage, bear-proof garbage, or, or will offer, but uh, that's not my style. I like to just do things myself, even if it's more painful that way. Um, so... Yeah, I think that's it. Well, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, when, like, what happens when you take this up to the top of the driveway for rubbish removal? Obviously, you can't leave the chain on. So, that's why we have a carabiner here. So the carabiner just comes right off. And you pull the whole thing through. 
And then look, it uh, pretty much fits in the palm of your hand. Well, yeah, that, ah, there we go, see? Nice little, and then you put it to the side and then you just drag it up to the street. We haven't had bears uh, attack it when it's up on the street for whatever reason. We bring it up the night before and maybe it's too brief a window, maybe we're lucky, maybe they're scared of the lights. Um, I don't know, if it was a problem even at the top of the street, then we would just take it up in the morning. Uh, but yeah, so far, very good system. I am selling it, a one-time opportunity. Uh, so yeah, $40, as I said, like $40, $50 for materials. I can price it out, contact me if you know me. Um, I'll come to your house, I'll do it for you. I, we have to fight these bears, right? So yeah, seriously though, I will, I will sell this. I, <laughs> in pains if you're watching, let's, let's, let's do business. <laughs> All right, so uh, thank you for watching, I hope it's helpful. Hopefully it's given you some ideas. Uh, see you next time.